Part 3 about the information regarding the mountain man, James Beckworth. The answer to the last Q&A at the end, which if you haven't seen, I'll put a card up at the top so you can check it out, as well as a new Q&A in this video. All this coming up. That Montana guy bringing you informational videos on Montana history, gear reviews, as well as a little bit about trucking. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. At any point in this video, check out the notes in the description down below. I'll put a link to the book that was involved in this video, as well as a link to other Montana recommended books. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. Question and answer video number 8, James Beckworth, part 3. In order to understand this video, you would have to check out part 1 and 2, because it's just trailing off. But with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So, goodbye Montana. After his contract with the American Fur Company ended in 1837, he headed to St. Louis from there to Florida. This was during the second year of the Second Somali War. By 1838, he was back in the West, working on our Kansas River and trading with the Cheyenne, as well as around Fort Vescues in Colorado. In 1840, he worked for the Bent and St. Brand Company, went to Pueblo, Colorado for a while, and teamed up with some partners to build a trading post. Around 1844, was trading on this old Spanish trail that led from our Kansas River to California. 1848, the California Gold Rush was beginning. So he set up a shop in Simona, eventually sold it, headed to Sacramento. Rumor is became a card shark. So with that said, he must be doing pretty good if he was a card shark. Uh, in 1850, he was again hit, uh, kicking around uncharted territory. Discovered a low elevation pass that went through the Sierra Nevada range. Pass became known as uh, Beckworth Pass, and he also continued to improve another trail that would become the Beckworth Trail. An old Indian trail from Pyramid Lake through Beckworth Pass and into the gold fields at the northern California town of Marysville. So after that, <clears throat> back to Montana. Uh, around 1859, he left California, went to Missouri, then to Denver, Colorado. Worked both as a storekeeper and as an agent to or an agent for affairs involving Indians. In 1864, became a scout for the Third Colorado Volunteers, Colonial John M. Chippington's campaign against the Cheyenne and Arapaho led to the Sand Creek Massacre. Um, basically, it was murdered of between 70 and 163 Cheyenne men, women, and children. Uh, Cheyenne were staying in, the, in an area approved by the former commander of the nearby fort. Lion. The Cheyenne even flown an American flag to show where their loyalty lay. He had traded with the Cheyenne in his younger years. Because of this involvement, he was banned by the Cheyenne to trade with them again. His final job was in, as in a scout for the U.S. Army around Fort Laramie and Fort Phil Kearney in 1866. On the final trek, he was guiding some soldiers to a band of Crow Indians in Montana. He had uncontrollable nosebleeds as well as severe headaches. The theory is due to hypertension. Died in a Crow Village of October 29th, 1866. He was 68 years old. So with that said, that is an actual, um, pretty incredible that he was 68 years old because a lot of people didn't live that long back then. So he must have been doing pretty good for himself. All right, so the question I had for you last week was, uh, after leaving the Rocky Mountain Fur Company, what fur company did he work for? If you chose... American Fur Company, he would be correct, because the Hudson Bay Company was from 1670 to present day. American Fur Company, which was the correct answer, was 1808 to 1842. The Columbia Fur Company was 1821 to 1827. And the Pacific Fur Company was 1810 to 1813. So the new question that I have for you is, what was the war that broke out in 1846 that James Beckworth was a carrier for the U.S. Army? Was it A, Mexican-American War, B, the Revolutionary War, C, the uh, Second Somali War, or D, the Civil War. So stay tuned for the next episode of Q&A for the Answer. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe and enjoy the woods. And Montana guy.